everyone welcome to my channel so today i'm back finally with an updated explanation on how exactly i crop save and organize my stickers in my icloud drive so i wasn't exactly sure where to start or how much to cover in this video but i figured that i would just kind of start here at the beginning and tell you as much as i can think of and then if you still have a question or if i don't answer something that you're curious about please do leave a comment down below and I will answer it as soon as possible. Um, so I'm just going to start off here in my iCloud Drive, which I have organized into a few different folders, but today we're going to be working in the planning folder since that's where I store my stickers. Um, and then when I open that file up, you'll see that I have even more folders stored within that folder. And you'll notice that that's kind of a theme that I have going on here. And it's just really the system that works the best for me. So as an example in this video, I'm going to be using a weekly kit. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And then in here, I store all my kits by shop. So these are all the shops that I've purchased from so far on Etsy. And today I'm going to be using a kit by Paper Crown Planner because like I mentioned in my last video, her kits are really nice because they're available to download as PNG images with a transparent background. And since I do use printable kits as my digital stickers, a lot of the shops that I purchase from only offer their downloads as JPEG images with a white background. So being able to download the PNGs just makes the following steps that much easier. Um, but when I open up my Paper Crown Planner folder, uh, you'll see that I have a separate folder for each kit that I've purchased from her shop so far. So how this works is when I purchase my stickers from Etsy, I just go ahead and download and save the full page sheets directly here in their own folder. And then from here, I can start to crop and save the individual stickers that I want to use. And I think that's also something that's important to note is that I'm only going to be cropping the stickers that I think I'm going to need for whatever particular spread I'm working on. Um, because this process can be a little bit tedious and time consuming, I don't really want to be taking the time to crop out stickers that I'm not going to end up using anyways. So, um, also just to explain quickly, my main reason for storing my stickers like this is because I make plan with me videos. So having each sticker saved individually really does cut down on the work that I have to do on camera but it definitely does take a little bit of work off of camera to get there. So the first step I take before I start cropping is to create all my folders. Um, and I usually like to create about five different folders, one for each type of sticker. Um, and in order to create a new folder, all you have to do is click on the new folder icon in the top left-hand corner of the files window. And then you can go ahead and rename it to whatever you like. So my first folder is gonna be for my date covers. And then once I have that renamed, I'll go ahead and just create my other folders for my functional stickers, my icons, my washi and headers, then one for any text stickers. And then at the very end, I also like to put all the original full sheets into their own folder. So I'll go ahead and create a file for that as well. And then again, these are just the categories and folders that work for me, but feel free to make them whatever works best for you. And once we have our folders created, we can start to crop out the individual stickers. Um, and I'm going to start with my date covers. So all I'm going to do is pull in the sheet that I want. And then if you just go ahead and tap on the image again, I can select crop and then begin to crop out the first date cover. Then once I have the sticker cropped out perfectly, I'll just drag it over to its folder and then it'll be saved as its own individual sticker. And then I'll just continue this exact process until all my date covers are cropped out. And then when I go to plan, I'll be able to just drag in each sticker individually. So yeah, that's basically the process that I use to crop out all the different types of stickers. And then I just save them in their own appropriate folder. And um, yeah, that's basically the entire process. Um, so I really hope that answers any questions that you guys may have had about how to save and organize stickers. Um, but like I said, if I didn't answer your question, please do leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.